with all due respect, this, this is preposterous. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, you're right, Beckett. You don't have an attitude problem. Take it easy, Walter. If you had lost confidence in me, why'd you give me the Highline suit? Andy, you nearly blew the entire case, for Christ's sakes. That alone is inexcusable. It would have been catastrophic for us. Uh-huh. So you were concealing your illness. That's correct. All right, explain this to me like I'm a two-year-old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing I just cannot get through my thick head. Didn't you have an obligation to tell your employer you had this dreaded, deadly, infectious disease? That's not the point. From the day they hired me to the day I was fired, I served my clients consistently, thoroughly, with absolute excellence. If they hadn't fired me, that's what I'd be doing today. And they don't want to fire you for having AIDS, so in spite of your brilliance, they'd make you look incompetent, thus the mysterious lost file. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Correct. I was sabotaged. <laughs> I don't buy it, Counselor. That's very disappointing. I don't see a case. I have a case. If you don't want it for personal reasons. Thank you, that's correct, I don't. Well, thank you for your time, Counselor. Mr. Beckett. Uh, I'm sorry about what happened to you, it's a bitch, you know? What's the matter with that guy? Iris, find out if Arm Brewster can see me. It's Iris. Find out if Arm Brewster can see me. Arm Brewster when? Sometime this afternoon. What's wrong with them? No, right away, Iris. Right away, Iris. Okay.